Hey guys, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. How are you? I hope you're having a good day. Okay, this is the fourth stream. And I did a bunch of other content today. So I want you to know that if you are like wanting other content, there was a video about Tati Westbrook this morning. There was a video about Alex from 90 Day Fiance. There was a video about uh, Lori and Chad Daybell. Okay. Um, there will be some uh, littering in of different topics. I know a lot of you have been wanting different stuff at this point. I'm trying to find the right balance for the channel. But right now we're going to talk about Sister Wives because this show is currently on air. We're doing recaps of it and you guys are loving this content. So, but if you're not a fan of Tati, you might like my video from earlier. Check it out. Okay, um, yesterday was the episode that we watched and I did a recap of it last night and I talked about sort of everything that went down and if you remember, they were arguing about, you know, Mary's gonna be in the trees and Cody's gonna put Robin over there and Robin's getting table scraps and everyone is making Cody's doing the dance for Robin, or doing the dance with Mary for like 30 years, and um, he says that Mary wants everyone to bow at her feet, and that's pretty much, you know, nothing gets resolved. But you know, I had this question after the end of this, because during the entire time they were talking about this, I was thinking about this, because when we built our house, it was 2013, and there was a bunch of property um, in this development that we live in that had woods and you could just clear the trees. Yes, that's right. An, an easier resolution for Mary and Cody and all of them is clearing the trees. You can clear trees. Did you know that? You can remove trees that make the house too dark. It's wild, isn't it? Clearing trees. Novel idea. Anyways, so um, none of them were live streaming last night, or none of them were live tweeting except for Janelle. Now, Christine is in uh, Utah. So is Cody. Word on the curb is that Cody and Christine are both in Utah in uh, St. George, which is happens to be where Mike Letty lives, but they also have other family members that live there. And there's a church there. So I don't know what is going on, but... Cody is apparently in Utah, so he might have just been dealing with the stuff going on with Christine. Um, Mary wasn't tweeting, and Robin wasn't tweeting. So maybe something is going on and everyone is up there, but I don't know. Everyone, other people are posting on social media. They just didn't happen to live tweet, or live tweet last night, which gets me to the point that I think they didn't want to deal with the pushback, and I don't think Cody necessarily wanted to deal with fans dragging him. So anyways... We are going to, I want to show you something though. Last night on Instagram, people were really critical of Robin and um, because people just don't like her. I just say that she cries a lot and she, there's never a tear. And I also say that she's um, Cody's favorite and she'll do anything to get her way. That's my opinion. Okay. Um, these, on Inst uh, last night though, people were like sort of annoyed by Robin sort of just being Robin and they were like, Robin isn't happy with anything ever. And then they were like, Mary never said she didn't want the property. I said that. Thank you, TV Books Music. She said she was not sure. Cody never followed up. He and Robin had a discussion, and he let Robin have whatever she wanted. Sister wives. Cody manipulates, as does Robin. Um, Robin is becoming more irritating with each episode. Mary deserves so much better... So, uh, so much better man. He stopped loving her when Robin came. Robin is great, but this is all Cody. It's sad that they, that we just witnessed how much Cody hates Mary and how much his sister wives dislike her. I cried hard for her. I feel the same way as that woman did. I felt like nobody stood up for Mary. Not one person like said anything. They all were on Cody's side that she said she didn't want that. Um, Mary looked defeated. And Robin just looked like I'm the favorite. Anyways, TLC, oh, but Robin, you are a big fat baby. You and Cody have competing tantrums. That's pretty accurate. 
I don't know why, it, but it bothers me so much that Robin inserts herself as the lead wife or like she has been there since day one. I liked her better when she was back and kept her place in line. Thank you, Purple Eyes. This season, this Lady Robin is acting like she's the top dog. And her behavior as the top dog is really, really irritating to me. Let me just say that out loud. So thank you for that tweet. Um, SH said, um, how would Robin know anything about plural marriage when her other husband took, never took any other wives? Hence why she wants all of Cody's time and attention. Bingo, I've said that repeatedly on this channel, right? She was in a single marriage and she never wanted plural marriage. She only wanted Cody. As much as she says in her interviews that she wanted the whole family, that's not true, in my opinion. I feel like they truly were sister wives until Robin came along. Too bad Cody only wants Robin and couldn't care less about the others. Now this from Hazel Eyed Queen is a persistent comment that comes up in my threads about, in my streams about the sister wives, is that people say that until Robin showed up, everything changed or they believe that the family was better and then Robin showed up and everything was bad and it hasn't been the same since and so literally like everything gets blamed on Robin I don't know if that's true or not but I do know from talking to Amelia that she said that there's not this the sister wives weren't like this one big happy family before Robin came along and that Robin just made things more complicated because she was like the new lady that could bring babies. And so anytime there's fresh meat is what they say, um, then the other ladies get jealous. And unfortunately in this case, it seems as though the, the imbalance that was created when she was brought in, just, we don't know what was they were like before Robin, but Amelia says that they never really got along and from, the sister wives own like words like Mary and Janelle have been pretty adamant that they didn't like each other, right? Um, Christine and Mary have not liked each other. Um, there wasn't this like cohesiveness between the three of them. So I don't know that you can actually blame Robin. I just think it exacerbates anything because you're adding another woman into the mix. And we know that anytime there's that many people in any sort of fold, like clamoring over any one person, it's going to create problems. Okay. So then, um, whoops. This is what she had to say. So Janelle Brown, who, by the way, I'll show you the other live tweets that she did um, during the show, but not once did she defend Mary. Not once did she like say a thing about like how Mary was being treated. Not once did she like express sympathy for Mary. Instead, she was like complimentary to Christine and defended Robin. And she said, just a quick reminder for a few of you and you know who you are. <laughs> Who's that? Robin has been in the family since we first met you all so many years ago. She was there in the first episode. So I think this since Robin came doesn't make any sense. Sister wives. Who is it? Who is you know who you are? I wonder who she's talking to. I wonder if I said something like that. Janelle, you blocked me. Was this for me? I don't try to assume that anything is actually about me but I know that you recently blocked me. Or did somebody else say that? I don't know. A lot of people say it, Janelle. Lots, lots of people. Um, I think it does make sense to the viewer's standpoint, right? Because the viewers don't really know before, they only know after. And so from a viewer's point of view, they don't know anything leading up to it. So it doesn't matter to them whether or not we've known her since day one. What we know of her from since day one was that she was coming into a situation where not another wife had been added in 16 years. That's going to create chaos. Then she brought more babies into it. And it also, and all of this happened when, Co when Christine was nine months pregnant and she ends up delivering a baby and he's going on a honeymoon, right? Yeah. Okay. Anyways, she also said, Oh, all the feels for Christine right now. I love her. I really love all the urban trails that we have here in Flagstaff. I'm still discovering new ones. And then when somebody, she retweeted this and says, it's been so nice to see the true feelings come out finally. Surely you know your audience is smart enough to see how fake the smiles have been. And she said, I think every family has their ups and downs. One, dis one disagreement does not define anything. We work it out day by day. Oh yeah, you really worked it out last night, Chris Janelle. Nothing got resolved. 
Mary couldn't have run out of that house fast enough. And Mary's like literally still not a part of the family. And she's all like traveling without you guys and never talks about you on social media. And she's never posting photos with you guys. So yeah, you're all a big one happy family. Work at everything out. Yeah, keep lying to yourself. Anyways, we often for forget the cameras are there. We have never scripted our show and occasionally things happen that get out of control fast. This one was one of those times. <laughs> I don't believe that. We've never scripted the show. I don't believe that. TLC would script everything. TLC would feed lines. TLC would feed ideas. I have been told by people that know the Browns family that TLC actually like would say, well, where do you want to go? Do you want to go on a trip? What can we do to create scenarios which could, could, could develop into conflict? So she's either incredibly naive or she's just lying. I can't decide. Janelle's a really smart lady, so I can't believe she would be this naive. Um, it's just so crazy to me. Um, then, let's see, what else did she say? Christine, she's always been so good at stepping into and try and lighten the mood and get things, when things get tense, it's been a useful thing through over the years. Janelle thinks of like all of these relationships as very like transactional. Like Christine's good at like lightening the mood and Christine's good at fixing food and taking care of the kids. Um, but I don't ever get the sense that Janelle actually likes anyone. There's this little place near the road with a slight rise and some trees and I really do like it. And that's the spot that she wants to live, apparently. So I think sometimes that the sister wives really underestimate the intelligence of the fans because I feel like with the advent of social media, it's a lot different when they started in 2010 versus 2020 when it's on now. Um, people are a lot more sleuthy than they were 10 years ago. You know what I mean? Like people can find out information. Like I had subscribers sending me land records and deeds for the property in in Flagstaff and wondering why um, Mary's property has Janelle on it and why Christine's property has Robin on it, but Janelle and Cody own their land and Cody and Robin own their land. And my subscriber was like, are they hoping that Christine and Mary leave and that's why the other wives are on here? It doesn't make any sense. And I don't know. I have noticed that too with the records. Um, Robin makes sense to be on the land records because she's the legal wife, but I don't know why like Janelle would be on the land with Mary, but maybe it's just community land. I have no idea to be honest, but I definitely think that fans over the years have noticed that Cody plays favorites, that he is more interested in Robin than anyone else. They've they're It's evident how he treats Mary. And last night was absolutely a, just obvious, so obvious that he <laughs> doesn't like her. He doesn't like her. He doesn't want to have to accommodate her. He doesn't want to have to do anything for her. He doesn't want to help her. She is a burden to him. That's right. So <clears throat> that's where we are today, where we are today. I still don't know what's going on with Christine and this like family emergency, you guys. I don't know what's going on. Um, if they're in St. George, I'm maybe it's her mom. I don't know. Or it could be one of her brothers or sisters. I don't know. A family emergency. What's that? We'll have to wait and see. And they're not filming it, so we'll never know. And they're being so evasive about it. Just don't say anything. Just don't say anything. All right, you guys, before we go, make sure you're following me on my Twitter account. If you are not getting notifications, which I know some of you are not, my Twitter account is at W-O-A-C-B official. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, I am at without a crystal ball. And on Facebook, I'm at fa I'm facebook.com slash without a crystal ball. Also, Give this video a thumbs up before you go. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and check out my other videos from today. You can find all the videos on the, on the um, video tab of the channel if you need to get caught up. Thank you guys so much for helping me reach 60,000 subscribers. I can't wait to see where we go in the next year. Bye guys.